Since the beginning of history on planet Earth, fire has been caused by natural phenomena. But since the first homins appeared and tried to control fire, human beings have experienced the great danger it poses when it gets out of control and spreads over large swathes of land. This natural phenomenon is also called a wildfire. The first wildfires were 540 million years ago in the Paleozoic era. Since then, the fire regime, meaning the frequency, seasonality, intensity and type of fires, has changed due to social, climate and geographic factors. The first large urban fires were caused by war, followed by the effects of the Industrial Revolution. Reports from that time tell of explosions at textile factories so frequently it seemed they were the price of progress. But modernization had just begun. With industrialization, many people left the countryside in search of new opportunities in cities. Changing land use patterns, as well as replanting with highly flammable vegetation and swapping plant-based fuel for fossil fuels, caused vegetation to accumulate in forests, making it easier for large fires to spread. Since then, construction in urban areas has seen no limit and is expanding more and more into forested areas. This trend increases the number of fires caused by humans and their catastrophic consequences. Climate change also amplifies the risks, especially in forests where the climate is changing. The average temperature is higher and rainfall is more irregular, so the land can't take advantage of it as much, leading to more frequent droughts. Nevertheless, hope also springs from the scorched earth. The new forests that rise up after a fire are better adapted to climate change. In this regard, society must also learn to coexist in this ever-changing context and become an agent for change. Efficient territorial management and good policies focusing on the rural economy and fire prevention will allow us to preserve natural landscapes and prevent flames from spreading out of control. Fire has proven to be both ally and enemy. It has given us creative power and led us to the rise of civilization, but its flames have also engulfed forests and cities. Advances in science and technology have brought us closer to fire, discovering that its true magic lies not in spirits, demons of genius, but in its potential risk. A force that once unleashed is uncontrollable.